Shalom brothers and sisters. This one I love absolutely because it's one of the favorite people that I like picking on myself. If you're a WEF branded conspiracy theorist, hi, that's me, you must be anti-Semitic. Come again. World Economic Forum declared Brainiac Yuval Harari has come up with another scheme to depopulate the world, banning conspiracy theorists from the internet because of their dangerous belief that a global clique of elites controls the world. Come on! How in our faces is it now more than ever proving conspiracy theorists right? But it's a dangerous belief. They need to be taken off the net. So I don't know how long this video will be up, but hey. Harari condemned the theory that a shadowy elite of billionaires and globalists control the world. And he called it anti-Semitic and dangerous. Anti-Semitic. Now hold on, Harari, Mr. Brainiac. Does that then mean that the Great Reset, all the globalists, and the New World Order pushers are all Jewish? Because that would make it anti-Semitic. So is he calling them all Jews? Or are there some prominently powerful Jews he's indirectly, Soros, referring to? Huh? Interesting, hey? He, Harari, warned that these crises are often blamed on Jews or Freemasons. Because Freemasons are good. Not. Harari then compared belief in the cable to Nazism. He argues that the Nazis believed the clique was controlling the world. The basic idea of the Nazis was the Jews controlled the world, he continues. Get rid of the Jews, solve the world's problems. Don't worry, Antichrist has got that one wrapped up. He's going to be doing exactly that. Thank you, Yuval Harari Noah. He will use that line later. During a discussion at the Warwick Economic Summit, Harari boasted that the world's elites would soon be able to use their immense power to avoid global mass extinction, which they themselves would create as part of a depopulation program. Ah, <sighs> it is Jesus Christ. And only Jesus Christ, who can save the world from these unelected world elites, their evil, ongoing, fundamentally sick depopulation program, and everything they have planned for every last human being alive. And God will cut short the time, lest no flesh be saved. Mr. Harari and his boyfriend and his buddy Klaus and all their global elites working together for Antichrist and probably having meetings with him already are in for a rude awakening in a very, very small span of years. And we'll be there to see it because we return with the king. He collects us. We come back with him in victory. God bless. Keep looking up. Keep praying for Israel, the peace of Jerusalem, and more people to open their eyes. Shalom.